Om Namah Shiva students, this is your English video class for class 4 and today our topic is verb. Today we shall learn about subject verb agreement. Students, subject verb agreement refers to the fact that the subject and, and verb in a sentence must agree in number. So there are many rules. Uh, so we shall start with rule number 1. Rule 1. If the subject is singular, we must use a singular verb to write a correct sentence. Example, she is playing the guitar. Students, you can see that here we have a singular subject and that's why we have used a singular verb in the sentence. In this example, rule 2. If the subject is plural, we need a plural verb to write a correct sentence. Example, the boys were dancing in the hall. Students, here the subject is plural. That's why we have used a plural verb in this sentence. Rule 3. The collective nouns are considered as singular. We use singular verb with them. Example, the crowd was very noisy. You can see that here we have used a singular verb with a collective noun. Rule 4. Indefinite pronouns like nobody, everybody, somebody, etc. are always singular. Example. Everybody is liking the new car. Somebody is knocking at the door. Rule number 5. We use singular verbs for, for uncountable nouns. Example. Salt is obtained from sea water. Students, we know that salt is an uncountable noun. That's why here we have used a singular verb. Rule 6. Two singular subjects connected by or, e, either or, neither nor require a singular verb. Example. My aunt or my uncle is arriving by train. You can see that here two subjects are connected uh, by or and that's why we have used a singular verb in the sentence. Neither Ram nor Rahul is available. Rule 7. We use plural verb with two or more subjects when they are connected by and. Example, a car and a bike are my means of transportation. So, students, you can see that two subjects are connected by and. And that's why we have used a, say, a plural verb in this sentence. So, I hope uh, you have understood all the rules. And now, we shall proceed towards the exercise. Exercise 5. Fill in the blanks with verb in agreement with the subject. 1. Tom dash watering the flowers in his garden. 2. The bread and butter dash on the table. 3. All my friends dash invited on my birthday. 4. The goat dash to horns. 5. These flowers dash really beautiful. 6. I dash born in 1997. 7. My sister dash two daughters. 8. V dash a big library. 9. My parents dash teachers. 10. V dash very tired yesterday. Students, now we shall discuss the answers. Uh, so, the answers are 1. Tom is watering flowers in his garden. 2. The bread and butter are on the table. 3. All my friends were invited on my birthday. 4. The goat has two horns. 5. These flowers are really beautiful. 6. I was born in 1997. 7. My sister has two daughters. 
8. We have a big library. 9. My parents are teachers. 10. We were very tired yesterday. Our next exercise is exercise number 6. Choose the correct verb. 1. A bunch of grapes is slush are hanging from the vine. 2. Somebody have slush has eaten the cake. 3. Sugar are slush is bad for health. 4. Either Pooja or Sejal is slash are helping today with stage decoration. 5. Raju and Bobby is slash are best friends. 6. The mice have slash has long tails. 7. The children has slash are playing in the garden. 8. This is slash a a lotus flower. 9. Mr. Brown and Mrs. Brown have slash has a fish tank. 10. I go slash goes to the temple every day. So students, now we shall discuss the answers. 1. A bunch of crepes is hanging from the vine. 2. Somebody has eaten the cake. 3. Sugar is bad for health. 4. Either Pooja or Sejal is helping today with stage decoration. 5. Raju and Bobby are best friends. 6. The mice have long tails. 7. The children are playing in the garden. 8. This is a lotus flower. 9. Mr. Brown and Mrs. Brown have a fish tank. 10. I go to the temple every day. So students, I hope you have understood all the rules of subject verb agreement and you have to solve these exercises in your English language classwork copy. So here we are done with our today's class. Om Namah Shivaya.